Hi, everybody. I'm Adil. I'm from uh, an organization called uh, Unify.org. And um, I'd like to... Unify.org is... Um, what, what United, the United Nations has been to nations, so Unify aims to be for humanity. Uh, so we've been experimenting for the last uh, four years in uh, global synchronized meditations. Uh, we set a Guinness World Record for the largest global synchronized meditation um, in human history. And we do, th we do these on uh, peace days and earth days and world water days. Like, on Earth Day alone, there's a, actually a billion people that unite, uh, largely unaware of each other, in 22,000 locations around the world. And so, it, the primary vehicle we utilize is the internet. So, the internet's a vast place. Where, you know, we decided to focus in on Facebook, uh, because there's a prevailing conversation that's happening there. And, uh, you know, the way that we do it specifically is that we produce these viral, uh, media pieces that create goosebumps to tears, that touch people, and open their hearts, and um, and from that there's a call to action to actually engage in creating an event or participating in an event around the world, and so our our last Peace Day event we had 1,417 <laughs> cities around the world, um, so I'll, I'll show you some of these uh, videos, and and now what's emerging is that we went from global synchronized consciousness activities um, to uh, global synchronized social actions. So but what to do with everything that's, that, that can be done in the world? You know, obviously, there's the themes of water and earth on these days, but the sustainable development goals have become a pole star, an anchor for, for, for this activity. Right? So uh, the sustainable development goals I imagine their purpose is to engage civil society, but right now there isn't entirely a uh, coordinated mechanism within civil society whereby we have a feedback loop where we can see what progress we're making towards those goals together. Right? There's, it, it, I know that that exists with NGOs and with nation states, but uh, we're primarily galvanizing civil society. Uh, so I want to show you some, some examples of that and how that's working. And, as me and uh, Barbara have dis been discussing, much of what they've been discussing is these cooperation circles um, exist already. And right now we have uh, 9,500 organizers around the world, um, and, and they are creating these on a regular basis, creating these cooperation circles, um, synergizing, and actually beginning to distill what all the good is that is happening in those communities. So we can begin to see it's like a, a self-organizing emergent process where what, what you've been seeing for the last, uh, and speaking into for the last 10 years, 50 years, you know, is, is actually beginning to happen. Um, so I'd like to re reveal that to you. And then, and, um, and then from there, what we've been building to, what we've been building from here is basically a, a global platform around Google Earth. Uh, whereby we can see a dashboard of all the activity that's being engaged in um, uh, on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. The, so the platform that they're speaking about is actually being built and it's being worked on by many, many different groups together. They're actually unified. So, um, yeah, it, uh, I'd like to show you some of this. Okay, so I'm going to start with a, a video that will that will discuss basically what we're up to, what what's been happening. Um, okay. So here, uh, today we're more connected globally than at any other point in human history. But are we really unified? Right now. Families in Syria are suffering. Their children victims of chemical weapons attacks. How can you, one person, make a difference? World peace seems impossible. But is it? It's been proven that groups meditating together lowers violence. So imagine what we can do when millions of us meditate together. 
September 21st, International Peace Day. You will have the chance to create a more peaceful world. When you become one, unified with many, noble dreams have motivated the great movements of our time for equality, human rights, and freedom. For that time, a group unified with one purpose, one heartbeat, achieved the impossible. On September 21st, 2013, at the exact same moment, countless people all over the world will be joining together in a unified demonstration of inner peace. In hundreds of cities at 12 midnight GMT, we will meditate to embody the peace we wish to see in the world. You can click this video off and do nothing, or you can choose to unify with us to create a moment of world peace. Here's how. Go to unify.org, scroll to the map, and find an event in your area. If there isn't one, click on the Create an Event button and organize it yourself. Tell your family, tell your coworkers, your friends, tell everyone you know. When you forward this video by email and Facebook and text your friends to join you, the movement spreads. It's that easy. The call to unify has begun. So if you believe in this dream that so many of us share, unify with us. Together, we are a global, synchronized force of nature. Together, we can change the course of history. Together, the story of the war ends. Now is the time to unify. One day, one moment, one humanity.